You know, you can't help but wonder, fake Battlefield fans, why must Battlefield 2042 be so terrible? I mean, it's quite clear when you assess the situation, it's not where it needs to be. It's not ready for mass consumption, and EA barely has a game here, as the game doesn't really even exist. Truly, it doesn't. As Battlefield 2042 is a live service under the guise of a game, but it's a live subscription service that you essentially subscribe to. You pay a one-time fee and you're in, which might sound like a deal, but that just means that they don't have to finish this game day one. And they won't. Because you see, the only game that they have here is Battlefield Portal. They didn't finish the game. There is no single player campaign. There's actually nothing here. They want you to customize, tinker and toy around with the game yourself. Because now they're giving you the tools. So they don't have to put in the work. They threw a fancy tornado in the game that seemingly does nothing in terms of destructibility. And you Zoomers bought this hook, line, and sinker. The entire situation, believe me, is so incredibly sad. Even the graphics, and sure you could argue pre-alpha until the cows come home, but even the graphics are not where they need to be. So what's in it for Battlefield 2042? Well, quite clearly for EA, it's all about the bends. They making it rain, baby. But for you consumers and you fake Battlefield fans, I know you've already pre-ordered it. And bullshit like this is why this industry is in the shape that it's in. But you don't care. Oh no. You never have, and you never will. And that's because you were too busy going, <gasps>